Hi everyone, John Burrows with Clemens Boats here. I'm here in the Boston Whaler showroom again. Gonna walk you through this 2022 Boston Whaler 250 Outrage today. We put the max power on this one as we usually do with this model with a pair of 225 Mercury's on the back, the V8 uh, naturally aspirated engines, no superchargers, and they have some serious torque and giddy up on this boat. Um, boat, so uh, while I'm thinking of it, when I'm speaking of that, the top end speed on it, depending on weight is right in the 54, 55 mile per hour range, cruises really nicely, depending on exactly where you like to cruise. Uh, 3,500 RPM, right about 29 miles per hour, which is great. Um, it only burns about 11 gallons an hour at that speed combined. And 4,000 RPM puts you up in the mid-30s. And you're only bumping up to about 15 gallons an hour at that speed. So um, nice boat. Nice running boat with those engines, uh, especially for a heavier boat. Uh, she comes in right around 7,300 pounds with fuel and water before you put people on board. 22 degree dead rise, so um, she cuts the water really nice. Very dry boat. So I'm going to start in the back here and move forward. I mentioned the 225s. It has the quick access in the top of the cowlings for the dipstick, like I've shown in other videos. Just real nice access to get to that quickly because a lot of people don't check their oil because it's just a pain to lift those cowlings off every time. So in the back of the boat here, much like all the other outrages in this in the line um, you've got the flip out bench seat in the back you can see the hardware they use on these seats is just over over built you can bounce up and down on that all day and it's not going to budge the console typical console it's the standard one here with the uh, live well in the back also put the port aft live well in the boat for people that do spend a lot of time fishing the, the twin live wells is nice. Rod holders across the back as well. Uh, some people use those live wells as coolers because uh, we found quite a few people buy these and really don't even put fishing poles on them. They just like the ease of maintenance and the speed and how yeah easy it is to keep them clean. Pair of bucket seats here with armrest, flip up bolsters. Some people like to stand, some like to sit, so they give you the best of both worlds there. We put a uh, load of this one up pretty well here on the dash. We've got the 12 inch Raymarine uh, hybrid multifunction display, hybrid touch, GPS, fish finder, radar capable if you wanted to add radar to the boat. The in dash ship to shore radio there. The Mercury four inch vessel view display. Active engine trim like many of our boats have that trims the outboards for you. Um, without you having to touch them. That is the outboards, not the trim tabs. Not a big fan of the automatic trim tab feature, but the uh, active trim for the outboards is re remarkably responsive. We're really impressed with that. And it's got the uh, stereo control here at the helm. Around to the console, we've got some safety gear down there, so she's a little bit cluttered, but not bad. Vacuum flush head. You've got uh, your easy access to your battery switches here, your on offs, and your main ignition keys are there with push buttons at the dash. Off to the side here. Quick mention on the digital throttle and shift. Extremely smooth shifting, um, very reactive when you give it throttle. And it also, a couple nice features on it. That I've mentioned in some of the other boats, but this one, I did, haven't really mentioned the docking mode. You can see that button off to the right. That is something that helps people that maybe get a little anxious at the dock um, and might have a tendency to put it in gear and accidentally give it some throttle. That prevents the revving and overshifting. It uh, when you engage it. It allows you to put it in gear, accidentally bump it too far forward, and it is a very slow climb in RPMs. So really a, a great idea they came up with there. The other thing I like off to the left is the one lever feature. You can engage that button 
you can take the starboard control shifter, get it out of your way. It doesn't do anything at that point, and you're running both engines simultaneously off of one shifter and one throttle. We put the spotlight on this boat as well. That's what that last control is, if you're wondering. And I'll go uh, show off the front here, much like a, their larger models, similar seating in the bow, a little more squared off, not your traditional V style that makes it a lot more comfortable for, for at least three people to sit there and uh, not be bumping into each other all day long. Windless off the bow. And much like all the other whalers, they've got a little compartment here that gives you controls up front here. Some people like to control the windlass on the bow, some like it at the helm. You can do both or either or on this boat. And I'll swing around to the back. There's your forward seating in front of the helm, armrest on either side with storage down below. That's what the little black strap is there. Pull this out, lift it up, and you've got more storage, which the uh, wing curtains are in there right now. And then another fish box forward. If you really have a great day and fill the ones here in the aft. I mentioned it does have the wing curtains. They were stored down below there. They attach to the hard top, come straight down all the way over to the gunnel and in front of these strolling seats to keep anyone dry if you happen to be sitting there on a rainy day trying to head home after a day on the water. It'll keep that person dry plus everyone else standing back here. So that's a quick run through. I'll give it one more quick go around towards the front and I'll mention if you're watching this on YouTube, visit our website. We've got full specs on boats we have on order, um, what's coming in next, and some of them we have time to change the options to fit your needs on as well. That website is clemensboats.com or you can call us at 419-684-5365. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.